Hello and welcome to this short and basic introduction to the new project management software LeanTime. You can access it from leantime.perma.earth. To log in, you need to enter your email address and your password. After that, you are greeted by the dashboard. Here you get a general overview over your work. You can get a quick look at your tasks on the left and your calendar on the right. To get to a specific project, you can use this drop-down up top here, or you can go to the project hub from the menu. This will give you a list of all your projects, as well as the ability to filter them by specific clients. Let's take a closer look at this project. This will get you to the project overview. This box here shows the project name and the description. And over here on the right you get a nice little diagram that shows you the overall progress of your project. This here shows you some of the latest tasks in your project, and if you scroll down a little further you can see the team members. In the bottom left you can get to the project settings. That will open this window allowing you to edit the name of the project as well as its description with the usual text editing tools. And on the right side over here you can set things like the start date and the due date as well as the client. You can select the client from this drop down menu here. Below that you can set the status of the project and you can also set who can access this project based on these settings. But the most important thing is that you don't forget to save your changes. You can also edit the team by going to the Team tab at the top here. Here you can add and remove team members by simply clicking the checkbox, or you can add a new user if they don't have a LeanTime account yet. You can also set a specific role for every user with this dropdown. Now for the next step, let's have a closer look at tasks, or to-dos as they are called in lean time. Here you get this nice Kanban view that shows you all the current tasks in the project, but if you want you can also get this table view if that's what you prefer, or you can have them shown as a list where you can click on the task on the left and get the details on the right. Like this. To create a new to-do, you click on New and then To-Do. That will give you this window where you can enter a title for your to-do and a description. And just like the project settings, you also have a bunch of options on the right here. For example, you can give this task a priority or set how much work is required for this task. If you scroll down a bit, you can assign this task to someone. By default, that's yourself, and the drop down shows you your team members. When you scroll down further, you can also set a due date for the to do, let's say, for example, next Friday. And below that you can set how many hours you think it will take. For example, two hours. And as always, don't forget to save. And now you can see it popped up right here. Next I will show you how to add a subtask to this task we just made. Instead of clicking new, you actually click on the parent task for this. Then on the left here, add task, and then give it a name. And now you have created this task as a subtask. You can also click on it to get to the details. This is the exact same as a normal task, except it is designated as a subtask. Let's also set the expected effort for this. And let's also say it will probably take one hour, maybe. 
and then save those changes. When you want to log your time, you click on the Time Tracking tab up here. This specifically tracks the time for the task you clicked on. And then you enter your time on the left. Let's say, um, for example, you worked on this half an hour. And then you save it. And then you can see that it's showing up in this diagram on the right here. When you have finished your work, you go to the Details tab on that task and set its status to Done. And save. And now you can see the subtask is over here in the Done section. Next, I will show you how to set up a milestone and attach a task to it. Here you can see a timeline of all the current milestones in this project. And just like the to-dos, you can also view this in a table or you can have them shown in a calendar. You can already see one milestone here and this extends throughout February. To define a new one, you click on New and then Add Milestone. Then you give it a name or a title, just like a to-do. You can also assign a milestone to someone. I will assign this to myself here. You should also set a different color for every milestone. They will appear with this color in the calendar. Then let's set start and end dates. Let's say it starts on Monday and ends on Friday. And don't forget to click Save. Okay, and next we will add the demo task we made earlier to this milestone. For that, we go to that demo task. And then here on the right, we assign the milestone we just made. And then actually, while we are here, let's also set the status of this task to done. And save. If we can now go back to our project overview, then we see our new milestone right here and it says 100% completed because all the tasks are done. Now, if you want to get a report of the time worked on this project, you might think it's under reports right here, but this only gives you a very basic overview over the time spent on this project in total by anyone. You only get a few numbers in the chart here. The only way to see your own time in more detail is by going to the profile and then timesheets on the left here. That will give you this table and you can see here the time we logged for the demo subtask earlier. And at the bottom right you can also get the total for your work time this week. Instead of this you can also have it shown as a more complete list like this. Or you can have the week view show you a different week, right here. Unfortunately, there does not seem to be a way to check the timetables for your team members. Everyone has to check and report their own time. And that brings us to the end of this little video demonstration of Lean Time. I hope you have a nice day. Goodbye.